Continuing with slide traces, I'm going to show you how to make a heavy duty competition slide trace. What we require, 175 to 200 pound carbon coated wire and the reason we use carbon coated wire is the plastic is a lot thinner on it. It does not burn or kink as easily as normal nylon coated wire. So 175 pound, we're going to be using a bit of heat shrink our heavy duty slide and this is the bigger version cotton sinker a reasonably big dangle and we're going to use some 11 um, soy hooks for our trace start off with two hooks 11 -0. First of all, we're going to measure off about 1.6 meters of wire, and this guys is going to be used on our slide sinker trace. There's a figure of eight. What I'm going to do is just pull it tight. Remember not to pull it too tight, very important, because you don't want to kink the wire. So you pull it until it gets to about there. And always make sure your hands are in here so you do not bend the wire. I'm going to slide it up until it starts to become tight. I'm going to stick it in my vise quickly, guys. Just push the knot as close to the actual aisle of the swivel as possible, like that. Hold the wire tight, and now we pull the knot tight. And there we go, it's done. And I like to just give it a little bit of a press over there. Next step is to take a power swivel. So what we actually do is take a number two power swivel. So it will actually fit through our non-return slide. Okay. To tie that on, we can stick it through, do a figure of eight again, pull tight, once again stick your fingers in there, pull the knot tight without damaging the wire, pull it all the way down and once again just stick it in the actual box. So basically there is the actual swivel. The non-return will now come down over it all the way to the end where your sinker actually is. Okay, that's step one complete. To make our trace, we take our non-return and the wire. Make it about 1.4, 1.5 meters in length. First hook into our bars. Go from the back of the hook, up, over, around, and then back through the opposite side of the actual hook. Take a pair of pliers, pull that over. Pull the knot as tight as you can, and then pull equally on both sides. Just pinch it. Cut off the tear again. The next part is to put on the second hook. For that, I require a lighter. Second hook. Go through the eye of the hook. Slide it down. So you get the length that you want your trace to actually be. And that would be ideal for the size bait that I'm doing. Very simply, what I'm going to do is take it and go from the back to around seven times. Two, three, six, seven. And then go through the opposite side again, from the top down.
and it's important that you go through the top down. It's like snelling a circle hook. If you go through the top, this is more pronounced. It actually pulls like it, so it pulls into the side of the mouth of the fish a lot easier than if I went the opposite way. Okay, very important that goes. A lighter. All I want to do with the lighter is melt the plastic coating. I don't want to burn it, so I want to melt it. Put your fingers, lightly touch it. And that's basically the trace done. The knot now will not come undone whatsoever. I'm going to take the heavy duty slide and I'm going to put it onto the actual hook. Remember the heavy duty slide comes with a heavier sinker and it's thicker wire as well. This is a three quarter ounce, you can add a one ounce to it if you want. But to do the knot, very simple, again, just put your finger through, go around twice. Forming a figure of eight, there's your figure of eight. Pull it until it gets reasonably tight. Stick your two fingers in there. Take your side cutters or pliers. Pull until it gets reasonably tight. Lubricate a little bit. Pull all the way down. And that's it done. Pinch it so it doesn't move. Side cutters. Do it right, and that is your slide trace complete. It's a lot longer than normal, and of course, when you add it to your actual sinker wire that you've got, and this is more for big fish, guys, really big fish. I'm going to tie on a sinker. I'm going to show you now the full length of this trace. Like that, and stand up. That is how much wire you've actually got. Okay, I'm going to show you how to tie the improved Albright with the 175 pound wire and 1.1, 1.2 mil wire, uh, nylon. Basically, just take the, the wire like so. Don't kink it. Give yourself a bit of wire to play with. And what we're going to do is wrap it around three times. Here we go. One, two, three. And then we're going to go back three times. One, two, three times, and we're going through the same way that we came out. So it looks like that, basically, guys, if you can imagine it. And all you're going to do, wet it, pull on either side, and then just pull. And as you can see, <sighs> pulls down absolutely fantastically. Cut the nylon off, bend that back to about 60 degrees, cut that off over there and that's it basically done as you can see there. So basically what happens here is when the slide comes down it goes over that knot that's there, carries on going but it doesn't come back. I can explain it to you, let's put that down there. That does not come back against that wire. The wire actually stops it now from sliding down or sliding back up the line. So I can only go one way. I can't go back over it. It's a stopper basically. Best way to explain it. It's a non-return leader knot.